Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! First Edition Booster Pack Lot Opening. And of course, as you see here in these packs, it's Labyrinth of Nightmare today. Uh, the desk that these uh, packs are on, almost said cards, but I meant to say packs, the desk that these packs are on is pretty much the only clean thing in this room. Um, I've been busy with exams, and I've been hibernating here like crazy, so... Uh, sorry about that, my finger got in the way of the camera. Um, so yeah, you probably don't want to see what the rest of my room looks like, just because I've been busy hibernating and working on assignments. I'm going to be done with my uh, papers next week, so I should be full on into my Metal Gear Solid series pretty shortly. I did record a video a few days ago, actually, but my laptop was really loud during recording. So hopefully I can keep the noise level down to a minimum in future videos. Anyways, let's get ahead and, or go ahead rather, and open up these packs. So pack number one. So once again, let's hope that I can get two good pools out of this whole set. Two rare pools. Here we go. Dragonic attack, or Dragonic attack. Spherous Lady. Doesn't look like a sphere, looks like a snake. Anyways, Fusion Gate. Shining Abyss. And. Jam Breeding Machine. I saw that in the anime. I was re watching the anime show um, a few weeks ago. During each of your standby phases, Special summon one slime token, face up attack, aqua type, water, level one, attack and defense 500, to your side of the field. As long as this card remains face up on the field, you cannot summon, including flip summon and special summon, any other monster. Suppose that card has its uses. Okay, so put the rare over there, and now Hysteric Fairy, Cyclone Laser. Headless Knight, and Lady Panther. Alright, so that's pack number one. Didn't start off with a hollow, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get a magical card of epic proportions. Truth be told, I can't really remember what cards are featured in this pack. My memory's a bit fuzzy beyond Pharaoh's Servant, because Metal Raiders, Legend of Blue Eyes, Spell Ruler, or Magic Ruler, I guess, and Pharaoh's Servant were the ones that I usually opened the most. Those were the ones I grew up with. But anyways, I remember this card, Tornado Wall, Shining Abyss again, Mariokutai, these Japanese names, man, The Portrait Secret, Spirit Message L. Oh, freak's sakes. I was hoping I wouldn't find these cards in here. So, unfortunately, it looks like a lot of my rares are going to turn out to be these stupid Spirit Message things. I never liked those ones. Biomage. Aqua Spirit. Oh, yeah, there's a few Spirit cards in this pack. Or no, it doesn't say Spirit in the effect area. It just says that in the monster's name. Anyways, Spirit Elimination. Skull Lair, that's a wicked card. In fact, I think its effect got nerfed in future re-releases. In whatever packs that card was included. In fact, let me read the effect. Remove any number of cards in your graveyard from play. Destroy one face-up monster in the field whose level stars are equal to the number of the cards you removed from play. That's pretty bamf. I'm gonna have to, I have a original version of that card from way back in the day, so I'm gonna have to reread the effect for that and re see what the old effect was versus the new effect. Maybe that was the old effect though, I don't know. Like I said, my memory's pretty fuzzy. Alright, third pack. Oh, come on. There we go. 
make this other garbage here. Offerings to the Doomed, I like that card a lot. Destroys one face-up monster, but unfortunately you have to skip your next draw phase. Still a decent card, it has its moments, and it's a quick play card. Melkid, the four-faced beast. Bornheimer. The unfriendly Amazon. Probably wouldn't be a good person to meet at parties. And spiritualism. And this is a rare. Return one magic or trap card on your opponent's side of the field to his or her hand. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated by any other card. Alright. Oh, I forgot to put a rare back in there. Uh, Crimson Sentry. Miracle Dig. Lightning Conger and Dancing Fairy. What I like about this image is that these are like anime characters that are superimposed on top of a photorealistic flower. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's hard to tell on my iPhone just because of how crappy the quality is with it being an iPhone 4 and all, but it's a photorealistic image. Or I guess it's a real flower in the background and then there's like fairies superimposed on it. I always like the, the look of that card. Anyways, I'm going to fish out the rare that was in here. I can't remember what it was, because that's... Oh yeah, Spirit Message. How could I forget that? You know, I just realized all of my rare cards so far are magic cards. I was hoping I could get a trap card in this. You know, have I got any trap cards in this? Oh yeah, Skull Lair, Skull Lair. And Tornado Wall. Not a whole lot, though. It's a, there's a lot of magic cards in Labyrinth of Nightmare. I guess there weren't enough in Spell Ruler to justify. Anyways, I, I, I don't know what point I was trying to get across there. I was just talking for the sake of talking. And I do not want to scratch these cards, but it's hard to open these packs for some reason. There we go. St. Joan, that's a pretty powerful fusion monster. 2800 attack and 2000 defense. Empress Mantis, another powerful card, 6 stars. Spirit of Flames, another pseudo spirit monster. Lightning Blade. And Amphibian Beast. This is the card I was talking about uh, a while back. You remember when I mentioned that Red Eyes Black Dragon has the same attack and defense power as Amphibian Beast? 2400 and 2000 respectively but amphibian beast is six stars so you can just tribute summon one monster and bam amphibian beast is on the field whereas red eyes you had to tribute two so that was kind of a bummer but anyway that's a neat card to have scroll of bewitchment the rock spirit flame dancer and fire sorcerer so we're getting a few more monsters here. And now, time for the last pack of truth, as opposed to the final pack of destiny. Okay. Another Empress Mantis. Another Spirit of Flames. Another Lightning Blade. Garuda the Wind Spirit, and Spirit of the Breeze. As long as this card remains on your side of the field in face-up attack position, increase your life points by a thousand points during each of your standby phases. Now this can be a bit of a gamble because her attack power is zero. So you better have Swords of Revealing Light or something like that if you want to protect her from being assaulted. Oh, I should put my card over here. Lightning Conger again. Dancing Fairy again. Worm Drake. Wonder if Humanoid Slime is in this pack. And Amazon Archer. Alright, so it's kind of similar to the Metal Raiders pools. Not very impressive, but there are some neat cards in here. So I'll put the rares in front of the camera here just so you can see. Oops, sorry about that. I really need to get a tripod for this thing just so that my hands and 
my knees aren't in the way all the time. So once again, we have Jam Breeding Machine, Spiritualism, Spirit Message L, Amphibian Beast, and Spirit of the Breeze. I couldn't see the name on the, 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 the screen of the iPhone. So the next series of cards or packs that I'm going to be opening is going to be Legacy of Darkness. So look forward to that. And in the meantime, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next part.